everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So this week, I am still moving forward with Valentine's theme. Uh, this one is not quite like cutesy and pinky, but more of a romantic sunset. It's very cute. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the waterfall technique using alcohol inks, and I'm gonna apply a silhouette vinyl. So if you're interested to see what I came up with, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so now that my cup is prepped and dry, I'm gonna paint on a strip of black acrylic paint down at the bottom. It doesn't really matter which brand of acrylic paint that you use as long as you get good coverage at the bottom. And I'm just gonna go and do a nice stripe down at the bottom. And you know, after I finished uh, this cup, I not after I finished, when I started to put my vinyl on the bottom, I realized that I only needed a thinner strip, but it worked out. So um, I'm just going to get as straight of a line, but it doesn't have to be perfect because that's where our um, house silhouette is going to go down at the bottom. And um, I'm going to let this dry for about an hour before I move on to my next step. I'm showing you there that I had taped the bottom. This is a 20 ounce straw blur by Stainless Steel Depot. So um, now what I'm going to do once that's dry is I am going to saturate the cup with 91% alcohol. And I know it seems like a waste, but that's the only way you can do this waterfall technique. So I do have a catch tray and aluminum catch tray underneath. And now I'm going to come in with my different color acrylics. So my the idea is I want to do like a sunset theme. And so I'm using a, um, a dark blue, like I think it's Tim Holtz Indigo. I'm going to, I'll put a picture up here of uh, the colors that I use. And then I'm going to come in with a purple, a pink, a yellow, and an orange, and a different color pink. And so I'm just going to keep dabbing these on until I get the look that I want. And this actually took me some time. It, this took me probably a good 15 minutes of playing around between dripping the alcohol inks on and resaturating once it starts to dry with alcohol, then using a blow dryer to blow the colors around and try to blend them. So it took a little bit of time for me and uh, I I'm not unhappy with that at all because in the end, I really liked the look that, that I achieved doing that. So I, the first thing you do is just get all your alcohol inks on and you know get those blend lines going. And I am not like I'm being generous with this. So I don't, you know, I don't hold back because you want you want full coverage on color. Also, I just want you to be mindful that something that I experienced was the alcohol will, you know, eventually dissolve paint, acrylic paint, or even spray paint if you put enough on there. And so the top of my cup, I saturated a lot and it actually started to lift the paint off of my cup, despite the fact that I sand paint, sanded it and wiped it down really well. I was okay with that because it, you know, eventually it just really kind of gave the, it gave more of a three dimensional up there, but I just wanted to let you know that that is something that could happen while you're doing this. So now, um, and also at the bottom with your black acrylic paint, which it did not happen because I didn't go down onto the black. I stopped before I hit that black and, you know, with the yellow. So just be aware of that. So now, you know, this is what the cup looks like after putting the alcohol inks on. Now you can start to, you can leave it the way it is and let it just, you know, turn and, turn and blend, or you can start to blow dry it, you know, it, this is all about visually what you like. So I keep going for a while uh, because I wasn't, you know, that wasn't the look that I was going for. And I didn't like that harsh line between the yellow and the orange. So I tried to soften that up. So I'm just really, you know, that's really basically it. It's really super easy. So I'm just going to put some music on. I'm not going to shorten this for you guys because I want you to see, you know, what I did and what I went through to get the look that I get. And it's, I think, important for you to watch. So I'm just going to put some music on and let you guys watch.
And just to let you know, I am using a heat gun and I have it on the lowest heat possible because I don't want it to dry too quick. You could use a blow dryer as well. Once I was done with applying my alcohol inks and they were nice and dry, I just stopped it from turning and let it dry overnight. I wanted to just make sure it was nice and dry before I went in with my first coat of epoxy, which I used 20 mLs of a fast set epoxy. You could use a fast set, you can use a regular set, you can use whatever it is that you want uh, for this layer. And so um, I did use a fast set, so it, I'm, it's gonna be ready to be worked with in two hours. Once I'm done applying my epoxy, I'm going to pop the bubbles with my little kitchen torch and let it turn for two hours. While my cup is drying, I am going to start with the decal. And so what I'm doing here is making a block the size of my cup. Now this has a slight taper, but I went with the bottom measurement at eight inches. So, or I'm sorry, it was nine and a half. So I did an eight, an eight inch tall by a nine and a half inch wide block then i pulled out this it's a just a you know silhouette of a of a town and i got that off the internet it didn't cost me anything i'm using this for personal use so um there are you know lots of silhouette houses that you can buy on etsy or you know uh, any other design platform that you use um, you can also check creative fabrica which i'll link them below once you get the size uh, that you want, then I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate it and put it next to each other. And I'm sorry, my dogs are barking. And then I'm going to go in with my little cat silhouette, which I did get from Creative Fabrica. So, um, you know, this is really super cute for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to just put them on top of the city or the townscape and weld that together. And that's it. I cut that out on black Oracle 651 vinyl that I purchased from Annie Up Graphics Supply. And now I'm just going to wrap it around the cup. And, you know, perfect measurements are not important because this is a slight taper. So it's going to be slightly off. But that's where you've got all that forgiveness because of the uh, black that you did at the bottom. But like I said, I should have done the black a little bit slimmer or I could have done the townscape a little bit taller. Uh, but, you know, again, this is, you know, you play around with what you like. 
And so I'm not, I, I'm not unhappy with it because you really, you just can't notice. So I'm applying this, uh, you know, I printed it up as one long vinyl piece. So I am just applying it like I normally would just uh, apply, like putting, peeling it back from the paper a little bit at a time and rubbing it down with my fingers, making sure I get out any bubbles. And uh, once this is completely um, applied, it's ready for my final coats of epoxy. So I've mixed up 25 mLs of epoxy and I put about five, five or seven mLs in another cup and I mix in fresh snow into the smaller portion of the epoxy. So just a little bit, like a little like half scoop full just to give it some shimmer. So I'm gonna apply that just to the top of the cup. So I, really what I'm going for is sort of like a shimmery starry night and I'm just using my finger just to apply it right there at that. So I'm going side to side instead of up and down with the epoxy. And I'm going to get that on there nice and smooth. And then I'm going to come in with, uh, I'm going to change out my glove because I have that shimmery epoxy on it. Change my glove out. And now I'm going to come in with just the clear epoxy. And I'm going to go just below where I put the glittered or the additive epoxy. That's not the right word. Just the glittered epoxy. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And I'm going to put it on and I'm going to just, you know, sw like pour it on and just use my finger to guide it and um, apply it, smooth it out. So I'm still not going to go up and down with this, guys. So I'm going to just go side to side and uh, then I'm going to come in right there and I'm going to split the difference with my finger and just make sure that the, the epoxy is joined so that there's not a dry line between them. And just, I can go down a little bit, just spread it down just a tiny bit from top to bottom. And then that's it. Um, I use a fast set epoxy after two hours. I'm ready for my final coat of epoxy, which I use my regular set epoxy. And then this cup is done, guys. Easy peasy. And once that epoxy is all applied, I'm gonna come in with my kitchen torch and pop those bubbles. And this cup is almost done. All right, guys, she's done. I'm really happy with how this came out. So, you know, I worked on this for a little while and it took me some time to get to the point where I was happy with the way that it looked. So, you know, you can uh, just keep dropping alcohol inks on it and saturating it with the 91% until you get to the point where you're happy with the look of it. And so, I stopped here and I'm super happy with it. I love the glitter up here. So it looks shimmery, kind of like the stars are starting to come out. I do have a rogue glitter that got stuck in here. Do you see that guys? And you know what? I normally would hate that, but I'm gonna treat it like it's a star. So if they're looking at a star, a long distance, it's bright and shiny star, whatever. Anyway guys, Thank you all for watching as usual. Uh, make sure you check that description box down below for links to products that I use or where you can find them. Uh, don't forget to jump on my Facebook pages and Instagram and even the TikTok, even though I only have like three or four videos on there so far. And uh, I will see you all next time, guys. Bye.